So uh, I don't think that song's gonna get muted, but uh, it's absolutely gonna get claimed when I do it on YouTube. So I'm gonna have to cut it out. But that was "Only Girls Like to Gossip" by Symbion Project, which is a, a slightly more breakcore version of uh, a track from one of Cass and Crooker's other projects uh, called "Splashdown." The that version, the slower version, is called "Waterbeat." Uh, I like Simeon on Project a lot. I just thought I'd share that little piece of trivia. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary, hello and welcome. My name is Christy. It's Monday, and we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play some Slay the Spire. For Christy, oh, damn it. For Christy. Oh, straw man, you've startled me. You said you were gonna play games you've already played on stream this month, but you've never played Slay the Spire on stream. Well, that's true, straw man. Uh, I, uh, Katie played Slay the Spire some time ago as a one-off, uh, and I've played a lot of Slay the Spire on my own because I think it's a very fun game, uh, but I haven't done it on stream, you're right. Uh, but I plan on getting away with it on a technicality because I've added a modification to Slay the Spire. You can, you can go away now, straw man. I only needed you for this one joke. You know how easy it is to find uh, Ocarina of Time models with transparent backgrounds? It's not very hard, but it's harder than you might think. I um, I should have had the uh, the game loading while I did that bit, because uh, modified Slay the Spire uh, takes some time. Takes some time to load. <laughs> takes a little bit of time to load the video game. Uh, so hey, wandering beekeeper, hey bad road. <clears throat> Thank you, straw man, for abetting this exposition. You know, if there's one thing straw, ban straw Man is good for, it's for abetting the sex position, as the captions decided, I said. It's almost there. Here we go. Hi, Freya. So we are going to play a uh, deck-building roguelike uh, Slay the Spire. Uh, and as I said, I've, I've been, I've made some modifications to the video game. Well, I haven't. Slay the Spire has a, uh, pretty, a pretty, uh, active modding community, or did at one time, and they're, uh, the fruits of their labor are still lying around the Steam Workshop. Um, so in order to get around the fact that I've never played this on stream, uh, we're gonna play not as the Ironclad, the remaining soldier of the Ironclads who sold his soul to demo harness demonic energies, or the Silent, a deadly huntress from the Foglands who eradicates foes with daggers and poisons, or my personal favorite, the Defect, the combat automaton who became self-aware, ancient technology allows them to manipulate orbs, or the new character, the Watcher of the Blind Aesthetic, who came has come to evaluate the Spire and a master of the Divine Stances. We're not even going to play as Riku from Final Fantasy X-2. Instead, we're going to play as the Bug Knight from Hollow Knight. Ah. Uh, I went looking for uh, fun modded characters for Slay the Spire, and whoever made this mod, I could probably look up that information. I'll do that during the um, uh, during the break. Uh, someone please remind me. Uh, but whoever bothered to... I didn't know Riku could Slay the Spire. Listen, she can't. The mod isn't good. I downloaded it just for the misdirection. Uh, but whoever put the the work into the uh, the bug knight mod is very good. All of the cards are interesting, and there are uh, um, synergies that work well together. Um, out of my depth already, I don't know the references, but my games don't go ma uh, much past mine, uh, Minecraft and Stardew Valley. Um, that's perfectly fine. So uh, the bug knight here is the main character of the video game Hollow Knight. 
uh, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I, I played it on stream to uh, a lot of, uh, I was about to say to a lot of success, which isn't how streaming works, but I really liked it and whoever was around certainly enjoyed it. Um, it's uh, a game about a small bug in a large world uh, finding out the truth about their past and the uh, uh, the terrible, terrible society which uh, was created to engender it. Uh, but now in sort of a non-canon move, it's going to climb up this fire and try to slay the thing at the heart of it. So we can take a thing at the beginning. Uh, we have cards and we fight with them. And we are being given the option to select a boon right at the beginning. I think I don't like any of these. Obtain a random common relic. Sure. Oh. As long as you have enough infection, focus will spend all the infection instead of soul even while in void. Okay, so... <laughs> Bug Knight has a lot of their own... Um, oh god, what's the word I want? Mechanics. Um, that aren't in Slay the Spire regular style. Uh, chief among them is Soul. Like in uh, Hollow Knight's own video game, whenever the Bug Knight uh, slashes with their nail, they gain a uh, soul, which can be used uh, to, which can be expended to play spells. I don't think we have any spell cards to start out with. We'll have to go find some. No, the bug knight is not a bug per se. More a, um... More a, a hollow vessel to uh, to carry the the soul of the void. Yeah, a void of infinite potential. It's a lot. The the lore of Hollow Knight is very involved and is one of the reasons why I love it very much. Oh, we do have a spell card. We have focus, which uh, or we have simple focus, which would allow us to heal. We're at full health, so that doesn't really mean a lot. Maybe I should go into the basics of the combat. So, uh, we have three energy over here. Each of these cards costs a certain amount of energy, and we can play up to three energies worth of cards, and then the enemy gets to take their turn. We can see up here the enemy is aggressive and intends to attack for 10 damage uh, when it is their turn. Because I would rather not be attacked for 10 damage... Uh, I'm going to play dash here, which means I gain 5 block. And I'm going to play dash here, which means I gain 5 block. And now I will block the incoming 10 damage on my turn. And because I have some energy left over, I might as well smack him for 5. And... Can I get to 16 off the back of this? My regular strike deals 7 damage, so 7, 14, 21? Yeah, if I just nail strike 3 times, I can end this. I can end it. Uh, and at the end of the battle, we are allowed to choose a card. Uh, what do we have? Infected Cysts. This deals 11 damage and applies 3 poison to all enemies. It costs 2, which is more than most of our cards. It also gives us Infection 4, which deals damage back to us. Uh, and then reduces at the end of our turn. So, if we were to play this card, we would deal a crap ton of damage, but we would also be eating six damage coming back to us before it, uh, the infection goes away. 
Um, I've, I've just come off like a week of being sick, so I don't feel like having infection cards in my deck. Um, deal 7 damage if you are below 25 HP. Deal 3 times that amount instead. That sounds very good. Or Quirrell's Assistance. Quirrell is, Quirrell's Assistance is an ally card. Which doesn't do anything on its own, but there are other cards that calculate their stats based on um, how many allies you have, or how much infection you have, or how much uh, void you have, which is another thing that we haven't got to yet. Uh, deal 7 damage to a random enemy and apply 1 reek to a random enemy, and more than that, you get to have this wonderful picture of my friend Quirrell. I love having Quirrell as an ally. He will come with me. Um, so yeah, we are working one room at a time uh, to make our way up to this spire. This is the first floor at the top. We will have to fight this big jewel thing with fire around it. Um, there are two more floors beyond that. And... Uh, along the way, we collect more cards and try to fine-tune our deck to make it to make it really hum. That's where the the sort of strategy part of the game lies. Uh, as you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light, perhaps something magical. It looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside its opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. Hot. What, the gurgling and the grinding? I don't disagree. Um, we can reach inside, lose 3 HP, or have a 25% chance to find a relic. Or leave. Um, we have full health. We can roll those dice once. Hey, success! After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a, yellow, a relic and yank it out. A yellow and rank it out. You pull your way out. You pull your way out of the ooze, damaged but rewarded. What did we get? Horn cleat. At the start of your second turn, gain fourteen block. Oh, not just the grinding and the gurgling, but also the acid and the metal. We should talk seriously about this sometime. Oh, incorrect. You are Alice, I am sorry. Um, this little guy. I love this little bird. I love most of the uh, enemy designs in, uh... Play the spire to be honest. This is a goofy little bird, he's just kind of waving stuff. Uh, this enemy intends to buff itself at the end of this turn. Um, but it's not attacking us, so I guess we just get in as much damage as we possibly can. Uh, here's Pogo Strike, deal four damage, discard one card, draw one card. That's fine. Hopefully we deal another. Yep, that's what we wanted. We wanted to draw another nail strike. Get our licks in while we can. You do not belong here. Listen, I'll tell you where I belong. Oh, and Horn Cleat activated. Because it's the start of our second turn, we got 14 block. So we don't even have to worry about this 6 damage that's coming at us. That's for chumps. Let's, uh... Let our friend Quirrell help. Kassar. So Quirrell deals 7 damage and also uh, deals weak. So uh, this creature is now weakened. Attacks deal 25% less damage for one turn. That's what the broken sword icon here is. Um, And we're going to block anything anyway, so let's just... Send the slices in. Uh, so block wears off at the start of our turns. 
Oh man, let's make an early night of it tonight. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a pleasant evening. Uh, let's take the opportunity to heal since we're just gonna murder this poor thing. And goodbye. Add a card to your deck. Uh, dash slash. Gain four block, deal six damage. It's the best of both worlds. Uh, add a copy of the next played attack or skill to your hand and exhaust. I don't know, I could double up Pogo Strike. That might be good. Um, exhaust means once I play this card, uh, sibling souls will be removed until the end of combat. And then I'll be able to use it again uh the next room but it's just uh once per once per fight and then howling raids deal 18 damage to all enemies sounds really good we need to have three uh soul to do it but yeah Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. I can transform a card, or I can leave. I don't like transform a card. It would let me choose any card in my deck, and it would switch it out for any random card that uh, Bug Knight has access to. I don't want a lot of the cards. Like, especially this early, like... Actually, I guess this early, it's as fine as it's going to be. Let's uh pull this and see what happens. Show me money. Oh. Gain five block, draw a card. I don't know, a strictly better defense card. That's fine, I guess. Um, what's going on in here? What's going on in this thread? Um, so we're going to take 7 damage if we don't do any blocking. And then this enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you. Uh, I don't have a way to fix that. So let's at least not get damaged. No, we don't have another defense. Uh, let's pogo strike then. Because with Pogo Strike, we can discard this card that we can't play right now. And... Hey, draw a quick dash. Now we're not taking any damage. Oh, so these little pill bug dudes. They have something called Curl Up. So the first time they take damage, they roll up like this one does. Or this one did. And have some instant block. Which means... It, you have to chew through them, but it only happens the once, so... I'm gonna smack the other louse, and that's gonna roll up for seven. And then at the end of their turns, uh... Their block falls away. And we don't, uh... We can just be free to smack them around some more. Um, gain five block, draw a card, exhaust. Why did I do that? I had 14 block from Horncleat. I forgot that was a thing. It would have blocked everything coming at me. I should have, I should have just not have done. Should have just not have done. Oh, I tell you what I can do though to fix it. Let's nail strike this front louse. That's the third attack I played, so now I have three soul. And I can spend that three soul to just howling wraiths. Big bada boom. We love it. Oh. Mantis mark. Gain one strength and exhaust. 
Discard one card, deal three damage, and apply one vulnerable to two random enemies. That's cute, but I think I want the free strength. Ah. Then there's this. So, um, there's a couple of different kinds of things you probably noticed. There's uh, these ones, which will look like little goblins. And they're just like regular combat encounters. The question marks could be... Could be combat encounters like we just had, or sometimes they're like events like we've been having. Or treasure chests, or, or basically whatever. These bonfire ones, you can heal at, or upgrade your cards at. Uh, then these ones are elites combat encounters. They're bigger, they're harder, they're usually something you don't get in other rooms. Then there's this one, which is a special elite encounter, which is like a regular elite encounter, except much harder. Um, there's only one of them. And if you want to do the last level of the game, you need to take it. <laughs> so I'm going to take it. Oh, hey. Good, it's, uh, Moss Knight. Remember Moss Knight? Moss Knight is back. In Slay the Spire form. Uh, let's bounce Pogo Pogo Pogo. Uh, discard Howling Wraiths. 7 damage in 1 week, and then we can gain 5 block, and... Oh no, we even have one more, so... There. Take a further 7 damage, Mossman. Uh, let's gain a strength for free. Sure. I think that sounds good, myself. Um, hmm. I kind of want to use Cloak Dash. I, like, I have five block, but I kind of want to use Cloak Dash anyway, just to draw a card. Because I would really like another attack, because I'm, I'm full up on blocks. I can just play... Nail strike and strike with the nail. Hey, there we go. See, this is something that I like. And what I was like, what I was saying when uh, I said that whoever did the the Bug Knight mod was sort of on it was that look, it's Moss Knight, and when Moss Knight attacked, they spit a they spit a thing at us that then turned into a little pill bug, the same way that they do in in Hollow Knight. That took some effort. That's cute. Uh, let's get rid of the block. You're not attacking, so I could I could give a dang. I might as well apply weak to you. You're not attacking, but I, I really don't see why not. Um. Yeah, I think I just slap you for a bunch. And I think you do your special thing this turn where you turn into, yeah. Where you get just a shit ton of... Just a shit ton of block. Just 35 whole ass block. And then heal until I can get rid of it. 
I don't know, which I managed to almost do with the uh, Wraith. Howling Wraiths? What is it called? That card. I was really hoping I'd pull it. Um, I'll go straight. Get rid of the block. It is called Howling Wraiths. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Uh, I'm glad that I made it weak because I wasn't paying attention and it's about to hit me for fucking oh that's embarrassing uh strike a pogo you want to take simple focus let's just get rid of one of the nail strikes create a nail strike for a nail strike fantastic Um, if I just attack three times, is that enough? They have 18 HP plus three, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, so eight, 16, 24. Yeah, that does it. Um, so I don't know if all of the knight's bosses are neat, are unique. Um, whenever I've gotten to an elite fight on the first floor, it's always been Moss. The the boss boss wasn't. The boss boss has always been, you know, just a regular Slay the Spire boss. Uh, gain one dexterity, infection plus four. That doesn't sound good. I'll take double dash, I guess. Melabelle's note. Begin each combat with two soul. Hooray. Um, I I presume therefore that if I were to get to um elite fights on the other floors, that they would also be unique to Hollow Knight. But I have not gotten that far. Um, because I'm not good with Hollow Knight yet. Um, do I just want to throw up 10 block and, yeah, yeah, I just want to throw up 10 block and make sure I don't <clears throat> get murdered by all that. Um, gain a free strength. Uh, yeah, sure, let's deal 19 damage to all enemies. Oh, I don't have enough soul. Um, well, I know how to fix that, and it's by hitting that one. Getting that extra soul, and then dealing 19 damage to both these enemies. Uh, Sibling Shadow. Void 1. Return one Void card from your exhaust pile to your hand. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'll take another Dash Slash, actually. It's just like straight up better than regular defense cards. I should just use, I should just try and get rid of my uh, normal dashes, honestly. Oh, here's the uh, Husk Warriors. I actually don't think I've ever seen these. They're big, they're bug. Get used to it. Oh god, let's deal some damage. Um and get rid of Howling Wraiths. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. I really would have loved for that to be a block. I can just gamble on it? I can just gamble on it. Yeah, let's do that. 
We have this potion called Gambler's Brew, which lets us discard any number of cards and get cards back. All right, I got, I got one block. And golly, do I wish I had more, but that's not the world I live in. Uh, gain five block, draw a card, and exhaust. Ta -ta -ta. Gain five block, gain three block next turn. Gain four block, deal seven damage. I don't really need to gain block, do I? No, I just need to... I just need to deal them. Mr. Ideal in lead. Let's draw a card. Okay. Good, that's what I wanted. And now I just need to... Oh, you're only gaining one block a turn? That's fine, honestly. That's how you get weakened while you're about it. We'll go strike. And let's actually heal. I don't take the opportunity to heal enough. Uh, dash slash. And regular blah. And do we want to heal again? Yes, we do want to heal again, because it will be healing for 4 HP, which puts us at 69. <laughs> nice. Hey, Alma. We and the Bug Knight are attempting to slay the Spire. Kassar. Yeah, let's just weaken your whole shit. Gain some block. What did the spire ever do to you? I mean... It's a... It's a terrible uh, cosmic structure that spreads uh, sickness and decay out from it like a... Like a thing that radiates sickness and decay. I, I don't. I don't see what the question is. We should sl we should slay the spire. The spire is bad. Ah, what have we got? Good intentions gain ten block and two soul, which actually sounds pretty decent. For the next turn, stop the. Uh, Block of any dash cards played in exhaust. I don't know if I like that. I actually don't like any of these cards for us right now, so we're just gonna skip them. You don't have to add a card if you don't want to. Uh, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP or take the Sapphire Key, which would give us the second of the third, the second of three pieces of a key we need. Regal Pillow is really good, though. We're going to take Regal Pillow and try and find the Sapphire Key again later. <clears throat> you come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. You sure don't see any traps nearby? Uh, obtain the golden idol. Enemies will drop 25 more gold. Also trigger a trap. Yeah. Sure. I do bad ideas. Let's take 18 damage. We're about to sleep at this bonfire and rest and gain 22 health back. Which I think is maximum? No, it's not maximum. It's really close, though. 
Oh, no, it is maximum. Wonderful. I did my math wrong, and I couldn't be happier. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to an ancient spirit. The Golden Shrine. Uh, Scrooge McDucket and gain 100 gold, or desecrate to gain 275 gold, but become cursed with regret. I'm not that greedy. I think I'm just going to take the regular money. You can't spend if you're dead. Or cursed with regret, I suppose. Uh, let's walk. And gain some free strength. And block again. And bash you for eight. Oh, I still had one energy left. Dang it. Sometimes I just don't pay attention. Sometimes a girl is just out here not paying attention. And leaving good energy on the table. And listen, I understand that that's a problem with me. It's like, oh, well, I definitely, uh... I definitely played three cards already. That must mean my turn's over. Oh, wait, one of those cards was free? I got to play more? Holly. Oh, hey, power cards. So, power cards are different to regular cards in that you play them once and then they just give you a, a power that sticks around. Um, and because it's this is the Bug Knight, they're all themed after um, the, the badges, which I love very much. It's such a good idea. Um... Grub song. The first time you attack each turn, gain one soul. So we can really up our soul fast, and we can start, like, if we want to take a lot of cards that require focus, that could be good. Or Sharpened Shadows. While you have Void, playing a dash card will deal four damage to a random enemy. Oh. I sort of wish I had been taking Void cards this whole time so that this would be useful. Unfortunately, it is not. We're going to play Grub Song. Uh, so here we have a wonderful merchant. Yes, welcome. Welcome. Uh, at the start of your turn, if you have infection, gain block equal to four plus any dexterity and lose one infection. This gives you infection five. So, I don't want that. I do, however, like this picture with the little buzz flies that have Hollow Knight's face on them, or Bug Knight's face on them. I like that very much. Um, Jin Soul doesn't really do it for me either. Here's a bunch of dashes. Deal six damage to all enemies two times. That sounds good. Deal 12 damage in an AoE. It sounds like I can take that. And I got to want to take dash slash too. And... We can do into our card removal and take out our quick dash. Since we have two, like, superior blocking cards. Actually getting rid of one of these is pretty big. Do you like this rug? I do. It's not for sale. Aw. Uh, we don't really need to rest. Um, let's recall. I think that's a good idea to do right now. 
and we can just get that out of the way. And now we fight this terrible fucking thing. Which might not be that bad, actually. So... The Hexagos' whole deal is that it summons a bunch of fireballs and then hits you with a bunch of fireballs. I think that ideally... I think that ideally we can avoid most of that because of our horn cleats. Yeah. Because here at the beginning of the second turn, it plans to hit us for 7 damage 6 times, which is uh, 14, 21, 42 damage. And we can block 14 of that. You know, now that I've actually done the math, um, it doesn't sound that ideal. But here we are. We might as well play this. And then we might as well put a strike. No. Oh. Oh. I guess we've done all we can. We're still gonna eat like a bunch of damage right now. That sucks. Not as much as usual. Yeah, we only lost half of our health bar, or a third of our health bar, as opposed to half. That's pretty fresh. Um, let's double dash, which will give us five block right now. And then we'll gain three next turn also. And let's use both our things. Why not? So this is going to give Hexagos vulnerable for three. Which means they're going to take 50% more damage. And then Flex Potion, which is going to give us 5 strength for this one turn. Which means each of these Nail Strikes do 13 instead of 6. 3 instead of 2, that's like a whole extra turn of life, right? Incremental progress. Oh right, that's the other fun thing Hexagos does is that it puts burn cards in our deck. These are cards, they just get thrown into our discard pile, so we don't have to worry about them until it comes time to reshuffle our deck. Uh, but that's going to be next turn. Uh, we can't play them, and if we can't find a way to get them out of our hand before the end of turn, we will take two damage. Not ideal, and we're going to get a lot more of them. Um, I think Pogo Strike is going to help us a lot with that. Sort of like the Poison in Dominion where it ruins your draws. I've not played Dominion, but I'm willing to take your word for it. Uh, we'll take these Dash Slashes so we can grab some block while we deal some damage. And then just smash it for 12. I mean, that blocks all the damage. This is going pretty good. Um, let's take Quirrell's assistance. That'll weaken, and now we only have to block 4 damage, which we can do. Then you just eat 12.
Yeah, you can discard burns. So, like, if I had a, a burn card in my hand and I used Pogo Strike, when it says discard a card, I would be able to choose a burn and get it out of my hand so it won't deal damage to me. Unfortunately, that's not what's happened, and I'm going to have to, like, deal with this. And I very much don't want to. Uh, we can block the damage that Burn's going to do if we have enough block. So there's that. But that's about the only... Uh, that's about the only recourse we have currently. We could heal. That's not nothing. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll Nail Strike for eight. Actually, we should have healed first. Because that costs focus, and we can get focus back with uh, attack. And I'm just going to end the turn on that, I think. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, so they're wanting to hit us for 14 plus 2 from burn, so 16? Like, we can block that, but it's all of our... Like, it's all of our energy. Then again, we only have two nail strikes, and it doesn't even get through the block. So, yeah, sure. Oh no, I did the math wrong. We're still going to take one damage. But that's only one damage. Perfectly fine. Uh, and weaken you. And... Yeah, sometimes you do just gotta turtle up. I don't like it. Because I think blocking's for cowards. But sometimes you just gotta do what you just gotta do, and what you just gotta do is um, pray to God that you can eat 24 damage real quick. They can eat 24 damage. Tactical role? No, you're thinking of Enter the Gungeon. This is Slay the Spire. It's slightly different. Uh, I actually don't have any damn... Like, let's do Dash Slash, and we'll use Howling Raids to just throw 19 at it, and then we're gonna eat 20. I could use Pogo Strike, but the thing about Pogo Strike is I have two burns in my draw deck, and I really don't want to, like, run the risk of accidentally pulling it. So, we're just gonna... We're just gonna let it ride. Ah. So, now we're in the, uh... Now we're in the second round, where it's gone through all of its attacks, and now it's going to do it again. Uh, and we got three burn pluses, which deal four damage instead of two. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make it more likely you draw burn. Well, that ship has sailed. I say it here, it comes out there. Kassar! So we can, we can get through this, and I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> and we, as much as I want to be blocking as much as possible, we really need to get damage in. Mm -hmm. 
so the good thing about this is that once we win this fight, it'll be the end of the floor and will automatically heal to full. Um, so our 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 life points are a resource, and we're fine viewing them as such. Um, it's just that I think. We're trying really hard to win this DPS race, and I'm not sure we get there. No, hang on. We only got one more turn. We're about to eat another four damage, but that's fine. We only need to deal, yeah, seven. There's 19. What do you think about that? Get out of here. Add a rare card to your deck. Ooh. Uh... Focus spells cost one less, so one less soul. Void spells generate one extra void. Oh, so here's what void does. Um, it's there on the right. Uh, void. Gain X amount of void, which increases the damage of void spells by that amount. So we get stacks of void, which put a plus stacks onto... Or plus X, where X is the number of stacks. Um onto other spells with Void on them. But we do take an extra 33% damage, and we can't use uh, Focus spells at all. So, taking... Like, this card is basically the only useful way to have a deck that has both Focus spells and Void spells in them. But we're not even going to fucking bother with that. Uh, what are the other two? Awoken Dream Nail. Deal 20 damage and increase the soul meter limit by 1 for this combat and fill your soul meter. I mean, that just sounds good. It's 3 fucking energy. This is our whole turn. But dealing 20 damage and then maxing out our soul meter uh, sounds like it's worth a whole turn. What does the upgraded version of this look like? Uh, it's still 3 energy, but the damage goes up to 26, and it fills our soul meter by 2. Uh, or Pure Vessel, at the start of your turn, pay 1 soul to gain 1 strength. These values increase by 1 each turn. If you cannot pay, lose this power and gain any gain strength. And any gain strength. I like this card a lot. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, relatively successful runs with this card. Um, but I've never seen a Woken Dream Nail before, and this sounds really good, and I just kind of want to try it out. And we get a big chest. Uh, from which we get to choose one of three big relics. The Slaver's Caller during boss and elite combats gain an extra energy at the start of your turn. Oh, well. Uh, gain energy at the start of your turn and extra energy. You can no longer obtain potions. And upon tr picking up, transform all s basic strike and defend cards. <clears throat> that seems like too big of a gamble for me. I don't... I like potions. There are some potions that I find incredibly helpful... But I'm willing to give up not having potions anymore for an extra energy literally all the time. Let me play four whole cards. Pardon me, I'm going to mute for just a second so I can blow my nose. Okay, I'm back. Um, is there anything super interesting on this path that I want to fuck with? Um, we've already done our super elite fight, so I don't have to worry about angling for that. Um, we have money, but we don't have a lot of money, so I don't want to take the left path and, like, get into a, uh... to get to a shop really quick.
I think what I want to do is start here and then move up this way and then take a left and just do these three regular and then an elite fight real quick and then take a rest. I feel like that's going to go well. Oh, no, wait, what am I thinking? Here's what we do. We do that. We go up here. We do these three regular fights. Then we heal up. Then we go to the shops. Then we have another quick fight. Treasure. Heal up. Boss fight. Heal up again. That just sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, look, we get to start with Awoken Dream Nail. How wonderful. Uh, so let's just... Let's just hit you for 20. And we have a maximum soul of 7 now. We could heal, but rather than that, I instead choose to attack you further. And we're about to eat 20 damage, but that's fine. Because we just reduced this guy to rubble. Um. Let me just nail strike twice and get rid of you. Give me my money back. Um. <laughs> It doesn't help right now, but let's go ahead and take Grub Song. And then you try to mug me again, but I guess you still mug me. I lose money. I really need you to quit harming me. There, there's... Oh, there's some damage and some block. How do you feel about that? Hmm. Yeah, just having one extra... Um, one extra energy to play with every turn, I can feel it doing me a power of good. Um, do we want another Howling Raids? We're gonna have, like, a lot of focus from now on. I don't see a great reason to not take another Howling Raids. I think we're on a just straight-up spell build now. An old beggar cloaked in fur reaches his hands out towards you as you pass. Spare some coin, my child. Remove a card from your deck, sure. Oh. The beggar takes off its cloak to reveal that he is cleric. You are a kind soul. Receive my purification, he screams. You are unsure if he is grateful or mad. Um, is there anything in here that, like, doesn't really gel with us anymore? Like, I think I like all these cards. Let's pull. Let's pull one of the basic strikes. A uh, plated armor, a shelled parasite, a giant avocado, or uh Oh, what are those what are those boys? They're also green, they're nuts. Pistachios. Could be a pistachio. Uh, 
Uh, 14 fucking... 14 of them, hey? Well, it looks like that's gone now. Oh, so let's talk about armored, uh, plated armor, I guess. So, plated armor. At the end of its turn, uh, it gains 13 block. Receiving unblocked attack damage reduces plated armor by one. So, this thing's deal is that it's just super fucking hard to take down, because it's pulling a lot of armor every single turn. Um, and you have to get through that to be able to, like, try and bring it down even a little bit at all. Uh, but we did manage to get there in the first turn. So now it's only receiving 12 armor a turn. Only that. Oh, hey. Dream Nail. Wonderful. 20 damage. Get fucked. 8 damage and weak. Continue to get fucked. Um, is Pokemon Strike still in here? I think I'm fine, actually. Um, I'm just calling raids. I mean, we are doing it. We are talking to Orange Juice. This, we'll just deal 21 damage and say fuck it. Uh, increase the maximum soul the soul meter can hold by two this combat. Mm, nah, I think I want to take Heavy Blow instead. I think I want to deal 12 damage and apply to weak. Listen, we're all having a really fun time with all the soul we're gaining, and I believe in us. Uh, but we need to diversify our holdings a little bit. Uh, so these ones are fun. They have flight. They receive 50% less attack damage while they are flight. The flight is cancelled if they are dealt attack damage three times in one turn. So let's do that. Or beard. They're just down there now. Like a really tired turkey. Um. So kind of want to hit with Awoken Dream Nail, but honestly, playing uh, Howling Wraiths is better for us. Because it'll deal enough damage to kill Bird outright, and then also deal 18 damage to Chosen back here, who's about to play a really shitty uh, spell that I don't like on me. Let's deal another 13. Suffer. I have become hexed. Whenever I play a card that is not an attack card, I shuffle a dazed into my draw pile, which is another uh, status effect card like burn. Except I think it's just. I don't think it does anything particularly bad. I think it's just junk data. I think it's just a thing I can't play that's taking up room in my hand. Well, you wanted me to keep attacking their Chosen, so... 
Who's who is this? Whose is this really on? Uh, discard a spell card we can't play. Um, attack for 14, I guess. Attack for 5, I guess. Attack for 6, I guess. And you're gone. Good. Dab. Another void thing, another dash. I think I don't want any of these. I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna skip that pack. Go ahead and deal 12 damage real quick. To everyone. And, oops, no, not that. Actually, yeah, probably that. And then we dash slash the cultist and raise our block to almost block all of that damage, but not all of it. Eh, let's go ahead and do this too. We just burned Quirrell's assistance. That's fine. Aha! I I sure did Razumit has you. Uh, Howling Raids. Just a big ol' 19. Big ol' crunchers. Uh. Over here, let's discard our... Let's discard our block. Actually. Oh, Howling Wraiths again. I mean, yeah. Oh, I don't have enough soul for that. Darn. Let's deal 8 damage over here, and while we can still play stuff that doesn't attack, uh, heal for 6. Um... Woken Dream Nail. So, yeah, homeboy might as well. Um, we can deal how much? 19 plus 8, 27? Which isn't enough. Turn 8, turn 9, 33, 1, 2, 2, 33, 34. Which is almost enough. Yeah, I mean, we're about to eat 14 damage, but I think we can't really throw 10, I guess. We can't really do anything about that. It's fine. <laughs> this is why we got that cushion a little while ago. Uh, oh, right. I don't get that. Midwife's Hunger, deal one damage one time for every permanent ally in your deck. Or I could upgrade it and it does three damage. That does not seem like a boss. Oh! <laughs> Boulder Shell plus. It's innate, which means we start with it at the beginning of every match. And whenever you focus, which is to say use a spell card, we gain five block. Yeah, that's just that's just ideal, actually. Hell yeah. But what else you got for us? I like your haircut. Thank you. It's void. 
Uh, whenever you play a spell, return one dash in your discard pile to your hand. That sounds good, but I think it's fine. Sharpened Nail. Deal 8 damage if the enemy is weak. Deal the same damage to all other enemies. Uh, Infected Sis, I don't want to do poison stuff. Or I could just draw two cards off Hunter's Journal. Or I could get whatever this is. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two more energy. Uh, the Stag Pass. Oh, this is another Hollow Knight specific one. Cards purchased from shops are automatically upgraded. That sounds fucking sick. I sort of want to get the tea set, but that's that's a lot. Sure, let's make that bad decision. Oh no, it's it's the it's the gecko. Oh, I'm sorry, the Sneko. I forgot this thing was called the Sneko. I'll just go ahead and take this. Um it it intends to inflict a powerful negative effect on me. I really want to get in as much damage as I possibly can right now. Um, uh, crap. I may as well heal. Yeah, so Sneko, uh, cast Confusion. Which means whenever we draw a card, randomize its cost. Anywhere between 0 and 3. Now, sometimes that works out for us. Like here, where the Awoken Dream Nail is now 1 energy. Or here, where the Great Slash is free. Um... But it does kind of put you on the back foot because you, uh, the sort of mana curve that you've built over the course of the, yes, <laughs> over the course of the game now means absolutely nothing. Look at all my block cards that cost three now. I just weaken you, I guess. Then gain five block. Really hope the next round goes better. Um, become weakened. And uh, oh, let's just double block and really, really hope for some good attacks next round. Uh, dash slash is almost a good attack. Uh, nope, there's seven damage. Ooh, we got out of it. I was not expecting that to be there. <laughs> soul Eater. Whenever you play an attack card, generate one extra soul, so that does not work for spell or ally attacks. Okay. I think this muddies the waters. Yeah, I think we just need to 
I think we just need to skip these dishes. And move on to whatever's in here. Uh, here's the sapphire key again. It'll be the last part of the three-pronged key we need. Every time you play ten attacks, you gain an extra energy. Which sounds... That's fine. I would rather get the sapphire key over that. To just get that one last piece of the puzzle out of the way. We don't really need to rest, so let's upgrade something. What's good to upgrade? What does Howling Wraiths do when it's upgraded? Just more damage. Uh, quite a bit more damage, actually, but... Upgrading Dash Slash sounds really good, actually. What about Mantis Mark? Gain two strength instead of one, and just straight up adds on to our damage. Oh. Oh, that's super interesting. So, simple focus, our healing spell, uh, usually costs three focus. Upgrading it takes away that cost. So... We can just use it as a heal six for one energy. And then it lessens two, and then if we get it all the way down to zero, it'll vanish. Which sounds pretty survivable. That means it doesn't activate um Balder Shell for us anymore. So we won't be able to get block off of using it because we're not using focus anymore anymore um but self heal though it's just kind of good um now let's fight the second elite i want to see if it's one another hollow knight one. Oh, it is oh it's um It's Nosk. So let's just use the Balder Shell. And let's hit Nosk for 20. Um, and gain a strength off Mantis Mark, and I probably should have done that first, but whatever. And now Nosk turns into a... Oh! Gave me a negative... Uh, negative one strength and dexterity. I was at plus one strength already, so it just knocked me down to zero. But a minus one dexterity, which means I will gain... Less block now from cards. That's why that's three down there. As opposed to four, whatever it was previously. Um, I really need you to die, like, really quick. Because you're just going to do that again, huh? Uh, 14 plus 12 is 26. 14 plus 12 is 26. Alright, let's... Yeah, yeah, let's watch you turn into the hideous hell beast. Which, good. I guess we're getting it out of the way. Terrible bastard. I just heal for six. Except I would don't want to deal for six. I want to instead hit you for thirty-six. Is that okay? Is it alright if I hit you for thirty-six damage? Especially because you're about to, yeah, put some ludicrous amount of block on yourself. 
No, nope, here's a Woken Dream Nail that's just gonna kill your block all in one go. And this is double dash, I guess. I'm still gonna take a bunch right now. Um. Sure, fun assassin. Let's heal for six. And then. Heal 18. And. Deal seven and apply one weak that doesn't matter because you're not attacking this turn. And then you're gonna do whatever terrible thing you're about to do to me. Uh, I'm frail and weakened. Which I don't like very much. Just gonna throw 15 at your face, I guess. Um, I'll gain some block for lack of anything else to do. God, it sucks so much. Um, I think I just turtle up. No, Heavy Blow is going to do some good, because it's going to weaken, yeah. We'll take a lot less. I don't particularly enjoy the feeling of fighting turtle with turtle, but here we are. Uh, it's fine. It's only got 20 health left. We can just hit it with a nail. It's fine. I did, in fact, bring the trebuchet to launch over the parapets as a turtle. That is me. So that is good. And out of that, we got Oracalcum. Or however the hell that's pronounced. I've literally never known. Or it or it halcum. Or it shalchum. Or it uh, if we end our turn without any block, we gain six block, which helps in a non zero amount of situations. And we can add a card to our deck. Whenever a non spell attack is used this turn, upgrade it for the rest of combat. Pure nail strike. Focus X, deal 9 damage and deal an additional 5 damage for each soul spent. So, when we use this, because there's an X in the cost, it'll drain all of the soul we have. But it'll deal five for each of that. And if we have a maximum of seven because we got there off uh, Dream Nail, then that's what, an extra 35 damage in one go? For a total of what, 44? That's a lot. I'm very happy with that idea. It's a howitzer to go with the trebuchets. Yeah. And let's see if there's anything we can upgrade about that. Yeah, actually, we can uh, level up Awoken Dream Nail to raise our soul meter by two. So the, the top will be eight instead of seven. So 49.
I think that's worth it. I think I kind of want to avoid fights as much as possible now. Uh, scaling the city, you notice a wall covered in the writing of the ancients. As you try to wrap your head around what the puzzling symbols and glyphs could mean, the writing begins to glow, and suddenly the message becomes clear. Elegance, remove a card from your deck, or simplicity, upgrade all strikes and defends. Uh, which will just be our regular nail strikes and the regular dashes, which I think we only have two of now. That's not what I meant to do. I hit the I hit the cough button and it read it as me using a mouse button. Pardon me, I believe my play is to, um, Balder Shell and then Awaken Dream Nail on 36, or 38 here. Knock it down to 12. That's actually quite good. No, it wasn't a bad misclick, and it's probably what I would have taken, but I... I I hadn't meant to do it, and I was surprised. Oh, right, that's what the deal is. So, um, the pointy fellow over here uh, keeps throwing days into my deck. They're unplayable, which means I, I can't play them, but they are ethereal, which means that if they're still in my hand at the end of turn, they're exhausted. So they don't, like, get drawn and then take up space in my hand and then go back into my discard pile. They, they vanish after that. Yeah, that's what we want. Pure Nail Strike. Let's just, uh, go ahead and deal 49 damage. Now, given the fact that we just dealt 49 damage, you might think it shouldn't be at 16. But it is, and that's why I hate this fucking monster. Hi, Freya. I'm glad that you have Ruby Grapefruit Seltzer. That sounds very good. Ooh, let's, uh, gain a strength real quick. Yeah, exactly. The days, timey future draws, and then they, you know, just go away. And it sucks for a second, but whatever. Let's get rid of the thing that does block, because we have plenty of block. Um, so... Has the knights... This has changed, right? That picture has changed? Because I don't remember them being in this sort of grayish robe previously. When, when did that happen? 
Um, let's just deal 19 damage. Oh, we don't have enough soul to deal 19 damage. Well, let's uh, hit you with a thing real quick and then deal 19 damage to you. Yes. And... I don't really want any of these. In fact, I'm sort of considering taking Grub Song all the way out of the deck. Um, we could heal for 22 plus 15 and just be full when we go into the boss fight. I think that's what we want to do, actually. Um, so, just very quickly. Um, it's 10.07, and before we go fight this boss fight... Which is, by the way, the first time I've ever gotten to the second boss with uh, Bugonite, so hooray for me. This has been a really good deck. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, before we do that, uh, we would like to take the opportunity to remind you that black lives matter, that indigenous lives and lands matter, and that the lives of people of color matter. That protests continue in this country. Uh, as they have for literal decades um, as black Americans fight for basic human rights, dignity, uh, equality under the law, and a lot of things that should not have to be fought for in a free and just country. Unfortunately, we don't live in one of those. We have some links that we would like for you to look at uh, over here under the donate command are organizations that are helping people on the ground right now, the Bail Fund Network, which is helping to keep protesters out of jail, the Ochre Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund, getting food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations to Black Trans and non-binary people, and the Black Hills Legal Fund. Uh, an organ uh, one of several land back movements this for the Lakota people who uh, are continuing to fight to take back their land the uh, six grandfathers uh, as it is called in English or as it is translated to English from Lakota uh, which uh, colonizers stole arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore and blew uh, a bunch of assholes' faces into it with dynamite. Under the second command uh, action are things you can do to be of use right now. Uh, these are petitions you can sign, uh, letters you can write to your lawmakers, uh, and the ACLU Racism and Policing Correspondence Course, which we, which is exactly what it sounds like, is a wonderful primer for uh, why policing in this country is so terrifying. Uh, and is well worth the four emails that you will spend with it. We think that these are good jumping off points, uh, but please do your own research. Uh, if you if you look around trust me you will find something near to you that is incredibly fucked up that you can be of some help um because it is everywhere in this country um it's a uh, Martin Luther King Jr. J today. And while I don't have enough uh, resources or oratory skill to be able to exhort to you why that is important, um, if I were to ask you to do one thing I normally don't, uh, it would be to go read a letter from a Birmingham jail 
which is an incredibly powerful piece of writing um, about the massive failures of people who think of themselves as allies to the civil rights movement. Uh, we cannot afford to be like those people. Yeah, we are getting too near the end of all of this. Uh, so find some way to give your energy to the civil rights movement and battle white supremacy wherever you find it, globally, locally, and within yourself. We're going to go to the break now. Um, stand up, stretch your legs, get some water, do whatever self-care is important to you. We're going to run an ad break. We have no stance on whether or not you block our ads. And uh, we're going to... We're going to be back in three to five minutes. Please join us then. Hey, I'm back. Come back and I've got a cough drop and I'm not afraid to use it. I got these fake Ricola. Tend to like Ricola. Um... But these um these ones sort of stick around just a little bit too long. Oh no. It looks like these people are worshiping this giant bird. That's probably not good for me. Um, ooh. There's this asshole, huh? Hey, more giant bird imagery. That's probably nothing. So here's the Collector. Collector's one of my least favorite bosses. Because they keep... fucking summoning dudes. And I hate it very much. that going yeah they summon these little torch headed folk which uh just they don't do a lot but they do just swing in constantly and they're like they don't have a small amount of health either is the thing Um, let's just go ahead and deal 18 to everything. And we'll be able to do that again next turn. Ah, dang it. Gotta discard the Dream Nail. I didn't want to discard the Dream Nail. I wanted to use it to... Slash the collector in his face. Uh, let's go ahead and gain our one strength. Uh, and I can Howling Wraiths again. And just get rid of both of those at once. And yeah, we'll just end this room. I used up all my soul doing that, so pure nail strike didn't do me any dang old good. Uh, yes, awoken dream nail. Oh, and pure nail strike is in there too, huh? Crap. I don't have enough to use it now. Do that and get rid of Great Slash and see if we can get on top of that. Nothing really. Let's just deal another 10 then get out. Are you about to summon 
more fuckers. No. Now you're gonna spike me? You you spike Bug Knight. You spike Bug Knight like the football. Jail. Jail for collector. Um. God, I really wish I hadn't already discarded Pure Nail Strike. I would very much like to do just a shit ton of damage. It's about to summon two new little fuckers. And I don't want that to be what's happening either. I don't know if I should be proud of getting that meme. Eh. That's probably fine. Let's deal as much damage as possible. And then heal. Um, ahem. We could just Howling Wraiths twice. And that would block one of the tens coming at us. Actually, I think that's the ideal move. Is to deal just literally a shit ton of damage, block one of these incoming uh, hits for a ten. And then just take the other one. We got a lot of HP still. Oh, we can cloak dash too. Save ourselves a little bit more. Little uh. Ooh, now you're. Hmm. Now you're dealing the whole fifteen damage, huh? I uh. I don't think I like that. I can't get rid of him. So that's good. You're still doing a deal 36, huh? You're just gonna deal half my damage in one massive fucking swipe? I really don't like that. I don't like that you're allowed to do that. Um, here, let's Awoken Dream nail you, and heal for four. Heal for four or deal ten? Let's just deal ten. Like, the, the torch heads won't stick around if Collector's dead, so honestly, if I can, like... Honestly, what makes the ding noise if I pull a uh, pure nail strike right now? No. No, I sure didn't. What we can do is pogo strike for free, and discard... Wick dash... Sure. No, we pulled Howling Wraiths. <clears throat> How much damage are we going to take if we don't put any block into the field? Oh, we actually don't have any block that we can pull, as a matter of fact. We have no block. So... Um, 24 plus 14 is 36. We'll have one health left? No, we'll have seven. Because Oracle come will, uh, activate and we'll get six block at the end of turn. That's specifically if I don't play Howling Raids, which I very much want to play. It's actually fine if I play that. It's it's a one block difference. Um, I got an ad says Bad Road where several influencers are asked to promote depression sticks and decline. And now I kind of want a depression stick just to spite influencers, yeah.
Our websites receive sponsorship offers. They don't happen often, but we have gotten multiple. What do people think that you would sell to other people? What what do they think that you're a good fit for in terms of advertising? Um, whenever you play an ally, draw one card. That's cute. Whenever you play an attack, deal four damage to a random enemy. That also sounds good. Yeah, let's take that. And then we can get rid of it if we have to. I have no idea why we are getting sponsorship offers for our personal blog with an article about how to two rent. Yeah, it does seem weird. Uh, we have the tiny house. Let's just take the tiny house. Upon pickup, obtain one potion, which we can't because of the thing, but whatever. Uh, we will gain 50 gold. We will raise our max, max HP by 5. Obtain one card and then upgrade one other random card. We've upgraded our cloak dash. Burr. Strength potion goes away, and... Sharp nail, I guess? Of those? Well, I made it all the way to the third. Um... What's at the top? What are we fighting? Oh, MVP. I really don't want to. I really hope we die before we get here. I don't want to do this fight. This fight sucks. Uh, only things I can think of are computer hardware or craft a currency. Yeah. Um, let's take this side because I think if we take this side, we can try and finagle like as few fights as possible there's a lot of question marks on on the far edge okay Cassandra. see this and actually I should have done this first Uh, the first one was someone with what I assume is a company asking to promote their own list of torrent sites. I remember the site not looking particularly legitimate. The second was someone asking on behalf of a client whether I would allow a sponsorship for the creation of an article about 5G new devices, gaming, streaming, VPN, Wi-Fi. Oh. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's... That sounds like an SEO thing, and wow, that's just very gross. Oof. Two burns. Ter terrible burns. Ter terrible Ken Burns. Um, let's just deal 40 damage and be done with it. Channel Nail. Focus 3 next turn. Gain an energy and draw one extra card. And it costs zero? That's actually great. Um, says Alice, the worst we get are free keys for asset flips where we're asked to only say good things. Yeah, yeah. We're not above 
taking keys for games. We've absolutely done it before, and I don't think... I don't feel bad about that most of the time. Uh... But every now and again, there's one or two that's just like, eh, this is... This one's icky. Um, explosion, three turn ceiling, 30 damage. I don't like that. These... These have thorns, so when I attack them, they're going to deal three damage to me, and I very much don't like that. Uh, well, crap. I should also add that the first one sent two emails and the second one sent three. They were circling back, but I was disappointed to find they wouldn't actually say circling back. It would have been more amusing. Yeah. It's like, if you're gonna go ahead and be a really fucking skeevy jackass then you should just go ahead and be a completely skeevy jackass just go full tilt Now I just want to make a game called Asset Flip, where you throw oddly shaped objects at towers built of oddly shaped objects, and make them fall down into oddly shaped piles. Would you get points for how odd the piles looked, or... How would that go? Um... I think I fixed that by doing that. Yeah. sucks. I'm about to take a lot of damage. I'm about to take a lot of damage I don't want to take, but here we are. So I hate these little bastards, because they have thorns, and they don't deal a lot of damage, but every time you attack them, you deal, you like, take three back, and then they buff themselves up, so you take five, and then seven, and so on. So, in order to take off their paltry 50 health, I have to take damage every single time I want to throw, and it sucks, absolutely. Anyway, I think I'm almost out of it. Listen, I haven't thought further than the throwing low-poly dinosaurs at low-poly cars. I mean, honestly, I would play a game that would just that.
like literally just hey here's a bunch of dinosaurs hit them with these cars or here's a bunch of cars hit them with these dinosaurs either way oh good I get thorns except I don't because I can't keep potions around um skip I guess So, there's a bit of a difficulty spike between each floor, I would say. And, uh... I'm not going to lie to you, it's a lot, and I do get salty about it. And I'm sorry for that. Maybe I should have thought about that before I decided on playing Slay the Spire. But I didn't, and now we're just here. Um, the fuck? Let's deal weak to you. And hit you with a nail. Real nineteen damage. Batter says, "Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody, toss your dinosaur." Which is an incredible thing to have said, and you should feel good about. God, I'm gonna take so much fucking damage. I'm gonna take less damage than I thought, but still rather a lot of damage. Oh, right, I'm constricted. So I just take 10 damage at the end of the turn regardless, and then I take 22 from the hit. I don't have a way to fix that. Um, I think I just die here. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Mm-hmm, there it is. I was defeated, which is apparently a familiar feeling. But unlock some new cards. Ooh, I unlocked some new relics. The Void Idol. Replaces Knight's Mask or King's Soul. You can no longer gain soul. Void cards no longer exhaust. Nail Strikes now exhaust. Huh. Or King's Soul. Replaces Knight's Mask or Void Idol. Gain four soul at the beginning of your turn. Increases soul meter limit by two. Or Queen's Comb. Upon pickup, lose 33% of your max HP. Until you take health damage each combat, heal for 4 HP at the start of your turn. That doesn't actually sound very good. Maybe there's something about it I'm not seeing. I guess if I just block a lot, I can heal forever. Maybe I could have a dash-centric build. Uh, um, so here's the thing about Slay the Spire. Is that that was a pretty good run. And it was... Two hours or so. Um, so I'm not gonna play another one. Uh, I'm not gonna, and you can't make me. Uh, I think I'm just gonna quit. Is there anything I want to play, like, real quick?
Something that's gonna fill up the last 20 minutes. No, I'm just gonna call it. I'm just gonna finish off this cough drop I have and uh call it an early night. Let's go to the outro screen. Alrighty. Multiple turns of regen doesn't it actually doesn't sound bad. Uh I just, it's just, I've told you I hate turtling. I hate doing it, and even if it means I have, like, long-term survivability, it, it, it makes me sad, because I want to do, I want to, I want to fight. Let me fight! Anyway, I've been Christy. I'm one of five women who stream on this channel. Along with my, uh, wife Katie, and her sisters Annie, and Alice, and Sue. We stream six days a week here, usually, uh, if we can. Our internet can, keeps going in and out. Hopefully that'll be fixed in March. We have we have a time frame for the thing that we think will fix it permanently. Um, here's hoping. Um, but we do our best on that uh, internet to stream uh, six nights a week. And if you wanted to interact with the follow button in whatever way is important to you, uh, you can be notified when we go live and see all the cool stuff we're doing. Let's have a look at the schedule, which you can find at schedule.truck.community, uh, and see what's going on. Uh, on Tuesday, that's tomorrow, Andy, uh, Annie is going to be playing more of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, um, where she is moving away from... Death Mountain. I don't know what's next after that. Um, we will see. Uh, Wednesday before our stream on twitch.tv slash badroad. Badroad will be playing more Legacy of Kane Defiance. Uh, a game where Kane is still a vampire and still just the worst. And then at our usual time, Zoo's gonna be playing some arcade games. Uh, which was an idea she had last week and it sort of didn't pan out. Um, but she, uh, we... Th think we have it working or she thinks she does I didn't do anything at all I just sort of sat around and uh, looked like a mug going through some of the some of the arcade list <clears throat> but that should be a lot of fun because she loves arcade games I don't know what all she has planned it'll be interesting to see uh, Thursday Alice will be playing more spirit fair with moths uh, <clears throat> A game about moving on. On Friday, uh, I have in my notes, Katie plays To Be Determined because she finished uh, There Is No Game Wrong Dimension last week, and I don't know what she has planned for this week. Uh, presumably, she will let us know. Uh, on Saturday, we don't stream, but over at twitch.tv slash xenonfiber, someone will be playing Kingdom Hearts 2002. <clears throat> the original, the, uh, the best, the Haley Joel Osmondist. On Sunday, we do our, uh, community stream, the wildcard stream. We don't know what it'll be. We never do. We'll figure it out on the day. Um, actually, it might be the next claw. That, that's something that I have been working on, and it's upcoming rather quickly. Um, I will have to ask about that. But, uh, if it's not next week, it is in the near future. It is on the horizon. And then Monday is uh, looping back round. Before our stream, Andy will be playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, a puzzle game about a lost child uh, and the, the universe that they create. Uh, and then I'll be playing something. I decided what I was going to do. Oh, I'm going to do an art stream. Uh, I got a game called Such Art, which is about being an artist in space. Honestly, it's not going to be about that it, 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 in the same way that I used Past Part 2 previously as a, as just a sort of art thing to play around with on stream. I'm going to be doing that. Uh, so, hey, if you want to come in and suggest something for me to draw, go ahead and do that. And that's the, and that's the week. Again, you can find that at schedule.truck.community. Uh, not just our schedule, but the schedules of all of our stream team, Endemonium, Bad Road, 
Riz Plays Games, Xenon Fiber, uh, wonderful streamers worthy of your time and attention if you were looking for more cool new people to follow. Uh, and if you want to see more of us, we have a YouTube at youtube.truck.community with uh, VODs that go back for literal months. That number of months is over 50. We have been doing this a while, and you can see m most of it uh, there at the YouTube. It's a lot. Th there's going to be stuff in there you'll like if you just want to spend some time binge-watching something rather pleasant. I believe that is everything I need to say to you. Uh, thank y'all so much for joining us, and until we see you next time, stay...